right now we had the morning showers and storms across the area. Some of those were situated just off the coast of Hilton Head Island. And Scott Olson got this awesome photo of a water spout that developed several miles offshore. Never made it onto the shore, thankfully, but it was uh, great viewing that off in the distance. And early morning showers and storms gave way to a little drier trend. Once we moved into the afternoon, we saw the focus of rain begin shifting down to the south. Still around McIntosh, Wayne toward Bacon County is a few showers out there, but those are even winding down. We may get a little break this evening, but with this twist in the atmosphere, low pressure that's going to just meander across southeast Georgia that will throw more moisture back in our direction tonight, and that will lead to additional showers and thunderstorms where the rain is still present. More cloud cover looking at temperatures in the 70s for Darien, Jezup, Baxley, Elma, Blackshear. Some 80s mixed in and even closer to 90 up in the low country, 89 in Ridgeland, 87 in Beaufort with currently sitting at 83 degrees in Savannah. So let's talk about tonight's forecast. We'll drop down into the 70s. Rain will start to redevelop after midnight. Could be wet morning commute tomorrow and we'll start off somewhere about 74 degrees in Savannah. You want to keep an umbrella on standby from the morning right through the afternoon on Thursday. And here's why we've upped rain chances. We think some showers and thunderstorms will be near the coast tomorrow morning. Inland areas a bit drier during the commute, but some showers will even spin in for the interior areas on Thursday afternoon. More hit or miss to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. A couple could produce some of those quickening downpours we've been so accustomed to the last couple of days, but once we Move into Friday's forecast, a little drier trend here across the low country and southeast Georgia. Just a couple isolated spotty showers possible will drop some of the heavy downpours from the forecast. Tomorrow, though, showers and storms, a pretty good bet for Blackshear and Jezup. A little less of a chance of rain during the morning for interior areas towards Reedsville and Vidalia. Darien, 89 degrees tomorrow afternoon, around 90 in Hinesville. These are temperatures a little below average for this time in July. 91 in Statesboro, Rinkin at 90 degrees. Coastal areas could start off with showers and storms in the morning. Maybe a spotty shower during the afternoon. 90 in Savannah, upper 80s for Beaufort and Bluffton, right around 90 in Ridgeland. Now the travel cast as we go into this weekend, it's looking a little better for part of the weekend. Sunday's probably the pick day, lower rain chance, highs in the upper 80s, 60% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. So here's a look at this seven day forecast around 90 with a very good chance of showers and storms on Thursday. Some of those could already be around during the morning commute. And as we reach the weekend, highest rain chances Saturday, a little less of a chance on Sunday. And then we have finally put a dry day in the forecast. Thank we'll you. see if that holds. But right now, Monday, it looks like partly sunny skies. Oh, it has to. It has to at some point <laughs> yes, dry out. Please. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah.